today's the day. We're off on a 10 hour train journey from Peterborough in England to Scotland. Or to be more precise, the Highlands of Scotland to a place called Fort William. Now, why are we going to Fort William? Well, to answer your question, it's because of this. I'm going to do some wild camping. Now, we've never done wild camping before, ever. It's gonna be a first for us. So we're quite far from home, um, but we, as you probably just saw, we're quite well supplied, quite well stocked, and we're ready for it. We've even got the uh, the old spray for the, the midges, because we've had a, a lot about those guys. And uh, yeah, we don't want to get bitten. So join us now on a 10 hour journey, which also cost us 250 pounds, by the way. UK train's very expensive. And let's see how it all goes. All right, the station, packed quite, <laughs> packs, packs are quite heavy. As you can see on my back, it's not exactly like traveling. We got a taxi down here from Bolt, and uh, the guy was an absolute legend, Willie Tam. Oh, yeah. Absolute mad lad. <laughs> he, uh, he's just about to go and do an airport run, he said. I was thinking, bloody hell, I'd rather go and do that, I think. But, uh, but yeah, so we're at the train station now, and uh, we've got about, I think about, how long, Tam? About half an hour. So we're gonna go and get a coffee, and uh, yeah see how things get on uh, hopefully there's no um, no delays or train suspensions but you can never guarantee these things so wish us luck how's it going you're right uh, can I get two regular teas please thank you thank you I appreciate your time have a nice day take care so we've been here five minutes and look at that she already spilled stuff she's already spilled everything yeah, just enjoying a tea um, and then we're going to be going to uh, Edinburgh first and then off to Glasgow and then finally Fort William so this should be fun all right yeah we made it and we're en route now and very lucky actually because if you look at the luggage storage there's mine there and we almost couldn't get it on Sometimes I do have to take guys on the other side, but yeah, it's a very, very busy train today. We are seated, which is good. Um, as you can tell, I'm a bit flustered, <laughs> trying to squeeze through like hundreds of people. <laughs> and then someone was in our seat, which they, they gave it up without a fuss and stuff. You know, so, uh, finally sat down, finally ready to go, and leaving the wonderful city of Peterborough behind to go to the Scotch Highlands. Let's do this. Here in Edinburgh, and yeah, like one done. <laughs> that's first leg of the journey done. So we've got to go to platform 12 now and get to the uh, the train to Glasgow. So we've just uh, travelled four hours so far, I think it is. Yeah. So it's been uh, not been too bad. We've done that tra uh, journey a few times. We love Edinburgh; it's one of our favourite cities in uh, in the entire world. To be honest, everywhere we've been, we. Uh, Edinburgh still top trumps it as our favourite city. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go and get on our train and get ourselves over to Glasgow. We've got a couple of minutes before we've got to be on our train, so before we pop into uh, Edinburgh and have a little look. So beautiful. It's got it all. Yeah, we'll probably be coming back to Edinburgh soon. Um, I think November we've got a, a date here planned, haven't we, Tam? Not a date night, <laughs> just uh, yeah, a couple of days here. My brother's never been, so I'm gonna go with my brother, my mum, and uh, yeah, gonna show him around. My mum's been here before, took her recently. No, 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 you're all right, no problem. <laughs> so yeah, gonna, uh, gonna come back here eventually, but uh, yeah, we don't know what platform we need to be at. For, um, for, our, for our journey to Glasgow. So yeah, we're gonna uh, just wait until it appears on the board. But yeah, whilst, uh, whilst we're waiting, just thought we'd get a nice little view of Edinburgh. Again, 
as I mentioned, it's one of our favourite places in the uh, well, the world to be honest. So can't pass up the opportunity to quickly pop our heads in and have a look. So that's the train. It's taking us to a place called Milne Garvey, I think it's pronounced. I <laughs> God, don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But yes, yeah, with uh, Scots Rail. So we've ridden the Scott Rail a few times. It's a good little, uh, good little company. So yeah, it's a kind of free for all. You just grab a seat. Hopefully, uh, hopefully manage to get one all right. We are now approaching Calder Crooks. All right, so made it to Glasgow. We're in. Uh, is it central? Glasgow Central? Yeah, Glasgow Central. And uh, our phones have decided to stop working <coughs> to show us where we need to be. So uh, thankfully, the gentleman running the gates told us where to be. Yeah, get a load of this station. Let's have a look at this look. Look at that. Pretty impressive. Don't think we're going to be riding that though. I almost forgot to mention actually. Um, I realised that I was pronouncing the uh, the train station that we were going to wrong. So it's not Milne Garvey, it's Mil Milne Guy or something like that. I think it's said on the Tannoy. So uh, Scotland, your places are very hard to pronounce. <laughs> um, my granddad's from Dundee, and uh, well, on my mum's side of the family, and um, yeah. Never really ventured into Scotland much, um, apart from the old trip to Edinburgh, but you know, trying to explore more about my Scottish heritage, where my family are from. And uh, yeah, one thing I've noticed is that it's very difficult to pronounce some of the places in Scotland. Scotrail Polite United, operating from not This is uh this is the views that we're gonna potentially get then uh I'm I'm well excited. So we're currently in a station in a place called Rannock and um basically the, the toilet on our uh, train has failed so uh Rannock has uh is one of the few places one of the few places with two toilets so uh Tammy bless her needed to go but um Still the men decided it would be a good idea to push in front of her and go for a well you can imagine okay. yeah you can imagine what they want to go for so Tam decided to come back and with the doors being open we're getting midges out of the train and with me not having any spray on me currently I'm getting a uh, I'm getting eaten alive by this one midge who's taking a dislike to me so uh yeah fun time done it people we've made it to Fort William how do you feel Tam she needs a toilet bless her so we've made it uh, that was quite a long journey 10 hours uh, this train here that we got on got delayed by half an hour due to the toilet break um, and it's currently raining so <laughs> we've also got to set up a tent in the rain as well but um, it's our first time in the Scottish Highlands it's our first time in Fort William obviously as well. Um, I've got a family that used to live over here actually. Um, my auntie actually lived, used to live all the way in Inverness, which I think is even further up. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting settled down for the night, eating a bit of food and just generally relaxing. So let's go and find a spot to camp up and pitch up. Well, what an ordeal that was. We could not find anywhere to, uh, to to hunker down. Not one place. 
and uh, yeah, we ended up going into the, the woods and we're in a relatively uh, kind of unguarded place, but we're nowhere near Ben Nevis yet. But yeah, we saw the police as well, so we were like, oh god, hopefully there's not been a report because we're just we were there just like randomly, you know, um, trying to find a pot spot to camp mm. or like lay, just lay the tent down for a bit because it's like now half 12 at, in, at, at midnight. God, so exhausted, but don't think we'll get a wink of sleep because we're quite out in the open, but we just needed to, to sleep. But yeah, got the tent set up. Not the most glamorous, but hopefully we'll be able to stay here till tonight, um, not get caught, and then pack up early in the morning. Better get going because there's people, I can hear people nearby. There we go people, first night camping successful and the place we're waking up in ain't too shabby either. Let's go and have a closer look quickly. So yeah, turned out we're on some sort of a footpath where we were sleeping. Quite lucky really that nobody came along but look at those views. That's what we've woken up to today. Right, en route to uh, McDonald's for a quick coffee to try and get ourselves livened up for the day. Yeah, that view, man, it's can't go over how pretty that is, man. But have we got a story for you? So, basically, I'll tell you a bit better now because uh, I'm a bit more, a bit more alert and a little bit less tense. But um, basically, we arrived in Fort William a little bit later than planned. I think we got here about half 10. I'm well, we supposed to get here at 10 because our train obviously got delayed. So people could get, people get yeah people could get on the toilet. So we went to a place called uh, Lanoch, and uh, from Lanoch we uh, waited for everyone to go to the toilet, and that took about half an hour. And then by the time we got over to uh, Fort William itself, it was, yeah as I say half ten. Then we needed to go to McDonald's because we needed to go toilet ourselves. We needed a coffee. And uh, yeah, we ended up, uh, in short, not being able to find our way to Ben Nevis because it was just simply too dark, too, too dark. And this is our first look at uh, Fort William during the day as well, actually. So this should be quite cool for us. You will witness the first. Wow, <laughs> it's pretty. So we uh, ended up doing some wild camping in, uh, in the woods as opposed to Ben Nevis, which we really wanted to do. But we just couldn't find our way there, it's too dark. And uh, we just couldn't see anything. And uh, wow, it's pretty. Scotland, the gift that keeps on giving. Look at that, what a view to wake up to in the morning. So uh, we um, ended up, we, we were walking for about an hour and it was absolutely pouring with rain and we're both really tired and, and just worn out. We had an 11 hour train journey, more or less. And uh, yeah, we needed to relax. So um, we found this little spot, hunkered down and that's where we Things got a little bit interesting so as we were setting up we noticed that the police turned up well it looked like it looked like the police and uh they kind of flashed their headlights in our direction where we were setting up and looking over at us and uh they uh they left rather abruptly so uh we were like okay well maybe they're here for something else or someone else and then around about four in the morning, you know, bear in mind, it's absolutely hammering it down in the uh, tent. Um, it's freezing cold. We don't have our shoes on. How did we get down here again? Went through there, was it? Was it? Cool, got a bit lost there. <laughs> um, didn't have our shoes on. And we had these drunken revelers. So they're, they're probably really nice people and stuff, but you know, obviously you're in a vulnerable position and you don't know what's going on. And uh, yeah, wow, look at that. 
unreal unreal and you don't know what's going on so yeah it's a bit spooky as well it sounded like they're coming our direction as well but they didn't in the end so now it's currently i think what about time will know let's have a look Tam won't know, Tam's watch has died. Your watch has died, wonderful. There you go, half six in the morning. McDonald's ain't open yet, so what we're gonna do is kind of hang around somewhere, but we needed to get out of there because we noticed that it was, there was a public footpath nearby. And we didn't know that at the time because it was pitch black. But, uh, this way, yeah. But we didn't, yeah, we didn't know that at the time, so we, um, we ended up being somewhere that we, wild camping where we really shouldn't have been camping. But yeah, we were kind of a, in a bit of a precarious situation. We had to find somewhere to settle down. It's getting really, really wet, really, really damp. And uh, yeah, we ended up on a public footpath. But <laughs> thankfully we got packed away at about five in the morning. We'll start getting packed away about five in the morning. And uh, just as I was, was putting away the last thing we saw a dog walker and he was thinking to himself what the hell are these guys doing here you know so uh we were looking at different options yesterday as well on the way here we noticed there was these bushes but they're quite dense you can see here look so we were looking at these as an option i'm glad we didn't in the end um because we felt like it was a bit too close to the public footpath because at the time we knew it was a public footpath because we was walking on it so yeah it's been a bit of an adventure 10 hour train journey well 11 hours actually in total when you were uh, factor in the uh oh, sorry 10 and a half should i say 10 and a half hour train journey when you factor in the weight and uh yeah it's it's, it's not been an easy start so we're going to go to bed nevis today we're not going to climb it but we're going to just hike around it and uh yeah we're going to be hopefully getting in some nice views and stuff so we're going to make a video of that keep your eyes peeled for that as well of our adventures hopefully have a bit of an e a bit of an easier time with our camping escapades <laughs> hopefully it weren't as difficult as it was today well yesterday should i say so the real question is what is a ten and a half hour journey like from england to the scottish highlands well it wasn't supposed to be ten and a half hour journey so there's that <laughs> um and secondly it was not without its issues when it comes to um toilets and facilities and whatnot so uh just be prepared for that potentially um don't go there expecting that you're going to be able to just go to the local toilets and stuff and or the train toilets and be able to use them in terms of cost it came up to about 250 quid for us both so 125 quid each there and back uh it depends how you look at it um in europe it's a lot cheaper generally speaking uh, but the UK we're quite we're quite well known for our expensive train journeys um, something that we often complain a lot about as a as a as a nation but we complain about most things to be fair <laughs> and um, yeah would I recommend coming to Fort William absolutely it's, it's stunning it's it's an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous little it's a town I guess isn't it as I see nice no, town and uh, everyone seems to be really friendly and you know the camping side of things didn't quite go too well but um you know these things happen you know we don't have the most experience with uh with wild camping but um yeah ten and a half hour train journey done so now we're going to go and head off in this direction to go and see ben nevis and do a little bit more camping out there in the wilds hopefully the clouds will clear up hopefully the clouds will clear up yeah <laughs> and uh yeah hopefully you'll join us for that video and um, we hope you've enjoyed this one and we look forward to seeing you again soon take care people